Let's take a quick look at the track visibility management options offered in Cubase 7.5. The processing power of computers has grown substantially over the years, and so has the size of our Cubase projects. It's common to see projects of over 100 plus tracks with lots of audio, MIDI, virtual instruments, effects channels, all in a single project. Composers can often have templates of over 1,000 tracks so that all of their sounds will be accessible. The problem is we can only see so many tracks at one time on your screen. So we incessantly scroll up and down so that we can work with our project. The track visibility agents can really help this process. So now in the inspector area, we have our track visibility section tab. So we're going to click on our track visibility and where we see a white dot means that, that we're actually seeing that track on our project window. So if I wanted to hide particular tracks, I could just click on the dot, and when it becomes clear, that track is hidden from view. I could also do this for tracks within a folder. So if I want to get rid of my base tracks, I could just hide those directly from there. Now there will be different track type filters. So we'll have this little option right above here where we can actually go through our filters and we could say, I wanted to only see MIDI tracks or I only want to see instrument tracks, or solely audio, or only my effects channels. I could also filter out my views. So if I want to get rid of other tracks, such as my marker, my video, my effects tracks, my group tracks, and only see audio or MIDI, I could select that right there. Now, if I wanted to take a number of tracks, let's say I have a number of drum and percussion tracks, I could also right click and move the selected tracks to a new folder. And that folder I could just label like so. Now if I wanted to create my own list of configurations for a particular project, I can now select channel solely just by holding down my shift key uh, and then this will select only the channels in my project below the divide track list here that are in the drums and what I want to do now is to create a configuration and we'll call this drums and let's create another configuration make it exclusive again and we'll call this bass and create an art configuration for keys. And let's say if I wanted to have my world instruments, guitars, And we'll say vocals. So now I can freely just switch between my different configurations to see only particular sets of tracks, which is very handy. If you find that you might need to update a particular configuration, you can now just come here add a particular configuration. So let's say if I didn't want to see the marker track, video track, I can now, you would see this little star that indicates that the configuration has changed. And now I could choose to update the configuration plus choose to rename it, delete it. Now, one of the other great things is the first eight configurations could actually be recalled through your keyboard shortcuts. So you can set up keyboard shortcuts to instantly recall all those configurations. Now on the right hand side, we'll have some additional 
functions here. So let's say I want to show all tracks and maybe I want to use this as a configuration view. So we'll create a configuration, call it all. And if I wanted that, instead of being in position seven, I can now move the all configuration to position one. So you can reorder each of the configurations. Now, once you have these configurations set, if you click here in the upper right hand corner of the visibility tab, we can now actually sync this with the mix console. So you could do it with one of the three mix consoles. And now as you look at it, if I open up my mix console, I'll only see my bass. Or if I wanted to only see drums, I only see those particular channels as was set. Some additional considerations will allow you to show only selected tracks, hide selected tracks, and something very handy for composers, if you have, let's say, a template of 1,200 tracks and you only have data on 600, you could show tracks only with data or at where the cursor position is, show me tracks that only have data at the cursor position or between locators. Now, there's some advanced agents as well. So if you wanted to hide all or invert the visibility status for MIDI tracks or MIDI or audio so some additional functionality here and these could actually be created directly from the project logical editor as well so you could set up kind of your own conditions so now you can see that working with track visibility agents can greatly streamline your workflow in cubase